What's good, y'all? Welcome to a shiny lock. This is Pokemon Harmony. This is a custom ROM of, or I guess a hacked ROM of uh, Pokemon Y. This was made by a gentleman named Echnoid. I believe that's how you say his name. Um, I will have the link to his Discord below. Um, a few notable things about this ROM. There are going to be custom trainers. I believe the difficulty level is slightly higher. Um, I believe it was increased. I could be wrong here, but I know there are custom trainers in the game. Um, the shiny odds are increased from 1 to 100. That's why we're doing a shiny lock. Um, let's see. What else do we have here? We have um, several special forms of Pokemon. We have Colosian forms. I believe that's how everyone's here. Colosian forms, um, which are basically like your Alolan forms um, or your Galarian forms. Um, so those are going to be in the game. We're going to have Delta Pokemon in the game as well, which is just a different special type of Pokemon, I believe. And then we're also going to have Break Pokemon. Break Pokemon essentially is like a Mega, but it's it's a permanent evolution. So certain Pokemon have a Break Evolution. So let's say I believe all the starters have a Break Evolution. So you give it a Break Stone in the game, and then it evolves one more time. Um, I do not know if Megas are still involved. I don't know if Break replaces Megas or not. I'm not quite sure about that. Um... But yeah, like I said, we're doing a shiny lock. So what we're gonna do is each shiny that we have is gonna have three lives, um, and then regular Nuz lock rules will re um, apply. Um, the only ones I'm not so big into is just the non-healing thing. We can go back and heal as much as we want. Um, other than that, just regular standard Nuz lock rules. Now, I went ahead and caught my first three encounters in the game off stream. I did record those, however, so that we can watch them live together right now. <gasps> Let's get it! Hey, this man cold. Hey, my man is red. Wait a minute. Hold on, let me slow the game down. Let me let me put it back to regular speed, bro. Eee. Yo, I like it. I was running in the wild and found one. I like I said, I think it's happened twice. I've been playing these games forever. Yeah, I've been playing since Emerald. I've been playing way, way back. First game. I remember I got Emerald, and then I bought Crystal Red and Blue off eBay. Or no, I didn't buy. I bought Silver Golden Crystal <laughs> off eBay. Well, I just found a fucking shiny Caterpie. What the fuck? Help, I'm confusion. Listen. Bro, yeah, you de you definitely hit me with Confuse Ray, bro, and I'm all sorts of fucked. You got hit with a Confuse Ray, and you got hit, like, fucking more than 50%, dude. But my attack is kind of strong, bro, so you just making me damage myself. Like, what's going on, bro? What do you mean by it? it's not actual? Nothing. No, no one by See, it. he don't even know. I do know. Ooh! I just don't want to play a run. I feel like he's a part of the the same village that uh, Sasuke came from, bro. Okay, wait a minute. He look kind of cold. All right, so since catching, of course, we came to the forest, and I was just kind of messing around doing some shiny hunting, so I do have two extra mons on my team. However, they are not a part of the squad. So what I'm going to do right now is a quick team recap of the mons that we do have. First up, we have Froki here. This is our starter. I, of course, is going to change his name. I just didn't do it well. Um, hunting for it. Anyway, Pound, Growl, Bubble, and Quick Attack. Next up, we have Carlos the Butterfree. Went ahead and evolved and evolved super early at level 10. Tackle, String Shot, and Harden. And then the last person on our team is Kakashi the Pan Sage. This is the grass type one. So Scratch, Play, Nice, Vine Whip, and Lick. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm pretty excited to play this, I'm not going to lie. I do believe that... Um, this game might give us a challenge here, but I want to be able to fight. I want to be able to fight everybody in our way. Um, have no issues. So we'll see how it goes. I think that this might give us a slight challenge, but we'll see. Um, but we'll move through here. Um, I really don't think. Oh, hold on. I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue for us. So I think we're going to do pretty good. Um, um, the one rule that I am going to kind of tweak 
is if we find a shiny honey a shiny hunt if we find a shiny during grinding it won't count but if we're just playing the game we randomly run into a shiny it will count so that's the only way the shiny clause is going to apply for us if we randomly run into one so i think it's going to be pretty cool to see exactly how this works out so i was really excited to play this game it took me forever to find those shinies if i seem kind of som somber during those finds it's because that was actually the day um we found out about kobe so kobe the goat so I, like i said that was kind of a weird day trying to play that and shiny hunt i was live on stream doing it we will end up doing live streams where we are just searching for the random mons in the grass and stuff like that so anything like i said that we find in our off time while we're grinding or we're just playing around the game will not be a part of our team so um and i am going to keep off the speed up um let me know what you guys think i think i may throw it on and just turn it off for important battles other than that i think you know like i said we may we may keep it off um so let me know what you think we should keep it on keep it off only turn it on for important battles we can figure that out but right now we're gonna keep it cracking i think this thing knows thunder shock already but i don't need to fight it anyway we just need to get through the forest here like i said get in any battles that we need to get in um i don't know how much is going to different i don't think the story is going to be any different so i'm not necessarily going to be doing a lot of that i do think though however we are going to have um like i said custom trainers and hopefully you know it goes well now i know there's going to be a point in time i think i have to have a certain number of pokemon in order to get my Kalo starter so we'll when we cross that bridge we'll get there um i'll have to shiny reset for that so of course we're gonna have a break until we get that shiny reset or that mod for the shiny reset so let's see what we can do here do you have any pokeballs you want to give me some thank you all right like i said we're just gonna fly through here there's really nothing to stop forward if you know hopefully we see something cool this first episode um is that new breeder is that, is that a custom i'm not sure of custom so if you see something that's awry it's been so long since i played x and y so i'm not quite sure exactly what's supposed to be what and everything else but if you do see something please please point it out like ooh, that's different because i might not catch it myself and when we have some of these shinies and stuff um if you comment down below um i may use your your name as one of the nicknames for the shiny so always go back and look at a previous episode and find names from there let's see i really think i might turn the speed up but i'm not gonna lie i may just answer the question myself because i don't know man this is painfully slow <laughs> I don't think, are you fighting? Okay. I do want to fight as many as possible. Keep the grind up, the natural grind, you know? Plus you never know what they might throw out. Now with the odds, like I said, being one in 100, I, I really do want to spend a lot of my off time, which like I said, we will be on Twitch, um, just finding different shinies and stuff. And like I know when we start running into more Delta and um, the regional forms, it'd be pretty fun to just shiny hunt those and see what those look like. So. And then if I do end up doing that, I'll end up showing them off. So if you don't make the live stream, um, like I said, you'll be able to see those. Uh, but I'll be. Um, I think at level 13 we'll switch out. We'll try to keep everybody around the same level. Um, is he just normal? Is he ground at this point? I think he's just normal, but we'll see. Hit him with the young bubble, see what happens. Okay, he's still just normal, but that was a quit. Alright. Yeah, we might end up turning on the speed up for the next episode. Definitely have battles like this. I'll probably limit the speed. I think it gets up to like ugh, 330 speed, which is obnoxious, like stupid fast. It's obnoxious, like how fast it is. So I think when we do get to that point, when we do want to speed up here in the game, I may crank it down just a little bit. I won't go full 330. I may go like, I don't know, like 200 speed, maybe double it a little bit. 
um, so it's not too too obnoxious. So, like when I say it goes fast, like it goes fast. You can barely see the game. So, don't know why I bubbled this thing, but I guess we're okay. I'm only the bubbling it again because it's dropping our attack. I was really surprised when I ran to the pan stage. To be honest with you, I was so confused. Um, but he made the he took the monkeys and each one of their um, normal colors. He made the other shiny. So shiny pan sage is red, pan seer is um, blue, and then uh, bu -bu 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 the pan poor is green. All right, so we made it through. Mm -mm 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 -mm. First to arrive, new neighbors, a lot of potential. Yeah, a lot of potential, because all we did was run through a forest. I don't understand this. You think someone moving for once? Yo, it was some one thing I kind of appreciate about this game was all the rivals and stuff, but I really still feel like it wasn't necessary. You know what I mean? Like, it was cool and all, but come on, bro. And so we do get a new encounter in this route. Um, of course, we'll be hunting for it, um, but we're going to move forward with the story a little bit. We'll come back to it. I don't necessarily want to um, hunt for the shiny quite yet. So we'll see what happens. We may end up right before the episode, um, hunt for it, and then come back to it. You know what I mean? You, you'll see what I mean. If we ever delay a shiny hunt, um, it won't be by much. So I think with the new route, we should, we definitely should grind for it. Now, if we had like two routes back to back, I might do it off screen. But with this here, I think we'll end up hitting these battles up. And then maybe I'll grind off screen and then come back to it when we do encounter it. So I think it's the best way to do it, to be honest with you. Yo, I like, I love Tyrant's design. Absolutely love Tyrant's design. I appreciate the X and Y, and I think Oras, like, really took up Pokemon for a notch for me. I've played every single one, but X and Y and Oras, probably still one of my favorite generations. Not saying I love this game, don't get me wrong, but I do love the step up to X and Y, and then Oras. Like, I really do appreciate it. I think it's undervalued sometimes. Um, just like I think Gen 5 is undervalued. Gen 2 is still the GOAT, though. Let's just be real. It is. <laughs> hey, Mr. Regents, come on, bruh. I think the next time a Pokemon game lets Pokemon follow behind us and they give two regions, I think that's going to be the next best game. Just those two things alone, I think people will freak out over. To be honest. Alright, so we have um, Froakie level 13. I want to keep our three Mons around the same level. So let's let's bring out young Kakashi here. Oh, wrong button. Bring out young Kakashi, see what he can do for it, bro. I'm not really messing with Carlos too much, bro. Um, even though I really do like his design. Yo, his his color palette's kind of cool, bro. The new shiny design's dope. Preschooler sent out Pichu. Let's body this Pichu really, real, real quick. Yo, if they have Pikachu say his name, they should let Pichu and Raichu say his name too, you know? I feel like it's only right. Like, how does it go from Pichu not being able to talk, which I guess we could pass on, to then to Pikachu who can clearly say its name, and then it gets dumb again when it turns into Raichu? Come on now. Bruh. I would bind with and get paralyzed from it. Pichu, you little bastard. Yeah, she lost, but you, you know, I took the L. Kinda. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we should run into what's his name here? No, uh, what's his name? Alistar, whatever it's called. I guess we're not. You went to go buy Pokeballs. Good for you. All right. We'll heal up here. I think he's gonna go ahead and show us around this damn mart. You get your Pokemon heal? Yes. Yeah, you know, heal. Yo, my guy. My guy was, you know, he's a fun dude. You know what I'm saying? Look at him. He got the skills, bro. If this is updated. You think they'd have him doing like, you know? But like the dab, what else like weird dances would they have this man doing, bro? I feel like they have him doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff. If the game was made like year 2019, 2020. The dab, he'd be like, shoo, shoo. I can see him. I can see Pokemon doing that. Probably not, to be honest with you. Never mind. I don't know why am I kidding myself. They wouldn't be. They wouldn't be progressive like that. They wouldn't be progressive like that at all. So what I think we're gonna do is, um. I think we're gonna go ahead and hunt for this other Pokemon. I don't know necessarily if I want to go ahead and move forward to the gym. I don't even think we can move forward to the gym anyway. I think we have to progress down Route 22, if I'm not mistaken. So I think we end up getting two encounters. You think a pair of skates? Beat me in a battle, I'll give you a pair. Okay, let's get our skates. Uh, duh, we'll get our skates. 
but I think we actually have to go down Route 22. And I believe we even get a third encounter. No, we can't go quite to the to the west yet. So we actually have two encounters that we can go after. So we may end up doing that here. Let's get our skates first, though. I think we should get our skates first, though. And then we'll be up to five mans. We'll be up to five Pokemans. That'd be a lot, honestly. And next episode, for sure, we're turning the speed up on. We can get a lot done with the speed up on. There's no reason not to, honestly. So I, I retract that question that I asked earlier about if we want the speed up button or not. I think it's a necessity. I think we turn it off in important battles. On that, we just zoom to the game. Like we on these skates, bro. Zoom, zoom. Strong leader, here goes Spiffy. Purr of skates. But do you guys tell me where the gym leader's at now? Okay. I need to move the circle pad. Going. Okay. Oh, we can just fight the gym right now, though, right? If I'm not mistaken, I think, we, yeah. Which we don't want to. We don't want to do this yet. Young bug type. We don't really have anything for it. I guess we could just overpower with Froakie and stuff. Froakie and whatnot. But I think we should be decent. Yeah, I did not want to sit down like that. So I think what we're gonna do right now is go ahead and hunt the two mons. Hunt the the mon on the route we just came in on, and also on Route 22. So we will be back. Well, there we go. Didn't take too long at all. Um, I actually seen this one already because when they were showing us the tutorial on how to catch Pokemon, this is exactly what she ran into. So we have seen this before. Um, I'll take a Bunnelby. I'm gonna be wrong. I don't think I'm gonna kill this thing. Maybe I should lick it. I think I'm gonna lick it. Oh, I can't. It's a normal type. But duh. Um, I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to damage. I, I should just be okay. I should be okay just throwing a Pokeball at it. So, this is gonna be our first one, bro. Can we just can we secure it though? Can we put it in the bag? Can we secure it, bro? That's the question. I don't think we should have a problem with it. It's level three. <laughs> we should definitely have no issue putting this thing in the fire. All right, don't don't act stupid, okay? Don't show out in front of company. Don't don't show out in front of company. All right. Now listen, I'm not trying to throw all my Pokeballs at you, bro. I just need you to get in the ball. You feel? Um, I could probably, I think, I think this would be my, my weakest Pokemon, so I'll give it a try. We get down to like two or three Pokeballs left. I may have to go ahead and try to hit it with the scratch, but we're definitely still going to try to toss a Pokeball at it. I would love to go into the first gen with five Pokemon. I mean, I would love to go into the first gen with five Pokemon. Please? Hey, there we go. Adding Bunnelby to the squad. Now, I don't have anybody in the comment section, so I am going to pick a nickname for it. Um, be very, very generic. I think I'm just going to call it Bugs. But I kind of want to give it something else, though, with it being purple. Um, I think I'm going to call him Joker. As weird as that sounds, I think I'm going to call him Joker. So, Joker the Bunnelby. Or, no, no, can't call it Joker. It's a female. I mean, I guess we could, but we're not going to do that. Instead, um, we are going to call it... Harley. Like Harley Quinn? No? Does that work? I don't even know how Harley Quinn spells Harley Quinn. I probably just butchered that. But it doesn't matter. So we have him on the squad. We're going to go ahead and head over to this next route. And I will see you guys when we find a shiny. Well, um, this was unexpected. Um, I didn't run into this not one single time, bro. He's kind of clean. Wait a minute, my guy. Yo, my man surfetched. <laughs> so I wonder if they give him evolution. It's probably not. 
which is kind of disappointing, but I mean, it's still a far fetch, though, bro. Um, I can weaken him. Um, I don't think he's gonna do too much to us, though. So let's go ahead and we'll scratch. We shouldn't, we shouldn't hurt too bad. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll do another one. Yeah, I like it though. I like the palette. I like the like the the light blue kind of look. I can dig it. How old is that? I can dig it. <laughs> All right, let's just see if we can secure the bag here though with uh, Farfetch, shall we? All right, five Pokeballs. This should be plenty. Should be enough. This should be enough. You should be good. One shake, two shake. Come on, bro. Just, just stay in the, just stay in the. Okay, well, all right, we're all right. Just, just stay in the ball, bro. That's all I'm asking you, bro. Stay in the ball, bro. Don't be difficult. What I'm gonna do too, I should, I should catch these guys up before the first gym. So, Ooh, do we want to risk it? I think we, if he leers us one more time, we will switch before the attack. I only got three Pokeballs left. Can we, can we please catch this thing? Please catch this thing. Come on now. Come on, Farfetch. Yo, what are you doing, my guy? Ooh, we almost lost a life. Yo, Fury Cutter's gonna hurt so bad. But that was um, that was on a defense drop, so we're fine. Let's bring in Carlos. Oh my God, bro. We almost lost life. Yo, Farfetch, chill, bro. Just come to the squad, baby. Just come to the squad. That's all you gotta do. Come with us, bro. Just need you to just come with us, bro. Okay. Do we want to try to weaken him a little bit more? I think we have to just because we don't have that much left. Like that many Pokeballs left. Can we live with one more or will we crit? Alright. I think we have two Pokeballs left. So we'll chuck one. If he... Yeah. If he gets out of this one, we're going to tackle him one more time. We might fail, bro. We might fail our first shiny. What? Oh. My. God. Okay, Carlos, baby. Yo, Carlos, Carlos. Don't crit him. Don't crit him. Okay, this is it right here. And he got a crit. Okay, this is it right here. Last ball, baby. Last ball, baby. Come on. Just stay in the ball. Come join the squad, bro. We're gonna have a good old time, Farfetch. Stay in the ball, baby. Let's get it. Come with your boy. Let's. Oh, no. Well, we're not getting them. Just go ahead and put them down. We lost our encounter for this route. That sucks, bro. I liked him. Ugh, that's tough, bro. All right, we got Kakashi to level uh, 13. Ugh. That sucks, bro. I thought we were good, man. Uh, it's all right, though. So, I mean, we got four solid bonds going into the gym battle. So, we shouldn't struggle too much. I know we'll have another encounter next episode anyway, so. That stinks. Uh, I believe there's still a lot. I think there might be another route after Route 22. I could be wrong. Um, but regardless, we're going to go ahead and end today's episode, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Until next time, though. Oh, I'm out of here.